Joining me today is a pop starlet who spent her youth singing and dancing in one of our favourite pop groups, S Club Juniors. It's a big welcome to Stacey Hi. McLean. Hello, <laughs> how are you? I'm really good, thank you. Perfect. Now, we recently had Aaron and Jay in from yeah. S Club Juniors for a chat, so we thought, we better get one of the girls in. Yay. Why not? <laughs> so we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to take it back to the very beginning. In 2002, you auditioned for S Club Juniors. God, that's so long. It seems like a long time ago now, doesn't Ten it? Ten years. <laughs> It, it makes me feel old. I know I'm not old, but... You look really young. Um, you must have auditioned when you were, like, how old were you? I was 12 wow. when we first auditioned, yeah. That's insane. And what was that whole process like, being 12 and auditioning? Oh, it was absolutely mental. I mean, I wouldn't change it for the world. It was the most amount of fun I think I've ever had in my life. Wow. Um, you know, it was kind of tough, like being away from your parents, because we we literally um, lived in London in a house. We had chaperones and tutors, and we were very well looked after. It was amazing, so much fun, and just the things that we got to experience. It looked were, like fun. Yeah. I wanted to be a junior. <laughs> um, now, when you auditioned and got in the band, it was only you were only going to be put together to be on the S Club Seven tour, just do one Wembley date, and that was it. But because you were so well received, you got signed by Polydor Records. So were you sort of nervous or scared, or were you really excited? It was really scary. We kind of didn't really know about record labels at that age, and we were kind of like, oh, Polydor, oh, okay, this must be good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and. It was just mental. Like you said, we were only meant to support um, S Club 7 on their tour. Yeah. Uh, we did like a thing for children in need, and then it kind of just blew up from there, really. And and it was announced, you know, that we were going to do an album, have singles, and then we ended up doing another tour. Because there was eight of us, you know, we we become so close, and it was just like, a, it was amazing. It was like, it was like a family. like actually being on the road with S Club 7 at such a young age, being on tour. Amazing. We got to watch them rehearse like right. every show. We used to sit and watch them in the audience. And we used to like have our like dinner with them before the show started and stuff. And we loved S Club 7. We kind of like looked up to them. Yeah. I was a huge fan before I even auditioned for S Club Juniors. And for my birthday, um, the following year, I wanted tickets to go and see S Club 7 on tour. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then I actually ended up <laughs> supporting them on tour. Oh, so crazy. mental, but I loved I loved S Club 7. Um, now, between uh, 2002 and 2003, S Club Juniors released seven singles and two albums. Um, so what was it like in those two years for you? Like, What were your highlights? I think now, looking back, it's like it's kind of hit me at how, you know, how lucky... I mean, we, we always felt lucky. Yeah. We always appreciated what we had. But looking back now and thinking, God, we were so young and all the things that I ever wanted to achieve in my life, I've already, I've already done. done. Yeah. I mean, I want to do it again, but it's like, God, it's like, where's the time gone? Well, out of those things that you did, like all the singles, the albums, what would you say? Um, I think the tours yeah. were, you know, one of the best bits, and just getting to like do all the TV shows. Like, can you remember like all the fun SMTV yeah. and uh, CD UK yeah. and, yeah. and Top of the Pops, the Saturday show. I like, love those shows. and we used to like do them every other weekend, and we used to be like so excited. I have to get up at like 4 a.m. in the morning, go and do like a sound check, and that that was the best bit. And like the people that we got to meet and. You know all these famous people, and we yeah. were like, "Oh my god!" Like really starstruck. Um, so, what was that like going from being pop stars and then acting? Was that quite a difficult transition, or was it quite easy for you? Okay, guys? It was kind of natural for yeah. us because we played ourselves anyway in the yeah. show. So we kind of like we had a few acting lessons, mm -hmm. and it was so much fun. We we moved to Barcelona for like three months, wow. and we. Um, we worked with Christopher Lloyd, who played Doc from yes. Back to the Future, and that was just... And he could never say my name right, he was called me Tracy. Yeah, it's all right, you could call me Tracy, it's fine. <laughs> but the amount of takes we had to do because he could never say my name right. Uh, now, in 2005, S Club 8 split up, uh, which is, was really sad at the time. Um, so what did you think of the split? What was I think none of it. I think we all wanted it to go on forever, and there was a stage where we actually thought that we were going to be in S Club 8 forever. <laughs> <laughs> we were adamant, like, this is it now. Um, and I think 
it, it was such a sudden ending and we were obviously all really sad about it yeah. and but you know it, it it was gonna come to an end eventually and S Club 7 you know moved yeah. on and obviously we couldn't really be the juniors of a band that weren't that around for much it. longer yeah, exactly. so it kind of you know just kind of slowed down and we did the TV series and then most of us had our GCSE so we yeah. all went back home I, I literally just started working and being so young it wasn't it, it was kind of hard to branch off and do other things because I was only like 15 um, and I just kind of went home and and I was there for a couple of years and I actually really enjoyed it like I you know being with my friends and family and kind of having you know going back to normality yeah. a little bit but then obviously you know that's not what I want in life so I moved, moved to London and obviously did X Factor. Cool, talking of X Factor, <laughs> you auditioned in 2009, yeah. um, you got to the top six, which is incredible, it's, it's a really good achievement. So what was that whole X Factor experience like for you? Oh God, it's like the most emotional Roller thing coaster. I've ever done, I think I'll ever do in my life. Like, I, I, I'd always watched X Factor from when it started and thought, I wonder how far I could get. And um, you know, I was always curious. And some years I'd apply, and then I'd be like, No, I'm not. I'm just yeah. not going to do it. And then you know, I went for it, and it just. It, I mean, to people on the TV, it, it kind of seems like a little bit glamorous, but yeah. you know, a lot of fun, which it is. But behind the scenes, it's like it's really like emotionally draining, <laughs> and it's like I cried so much, like happy tears sometimes, not happy tears, but it's just it, it takes over like your life. It was it was amazing, very difficult, but I I would never do it again. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I don't. I said I'd, I'd go for it and see. I mean, I did really well, really proud of myself, and I thought I'd, I wouldn't want to ruin that. Like, I don't know, I'm just going to leave it at that. You've got, you've got, you've got your top yeah. six, you're happy with I that. I can say that I've experienced X Factor, yeah. and like even when we got to go to Dubai and I met Kylie Minogue. I know, and, incredible. Oh, that place we stayed at, the Atlantis Hotel, was just paradise. I'm obviously it, like in front of Kylie and Danny. Really Renaud. scary. Well, oh, I, I didn't really mind singing in front of Danny because I'd done it a couple of times. Oh, yeah. And we had no idea that Kylie was going to be the mentor. And as soon as she walked out, like we were all genuinely really shocked that like, we had no idea. So then when it came to singing for her, I was like <laughs> shaking. I was like, I can do this, I can do this. <laughs> but but I can't sing for Kylie no, it's really scary. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, nerves definitely got the better of me. Oh, it was really scary. It done really well. <laughs> I loved uh -huh. it. Um, now, Frankie and Rochelle, S Club Junior ladies as well, have gone on to do re uh, to become really successful in yeah. the Saturdays. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think of their success? I'm really proud of them. Yeah. I think they've done really well. I love the Saturdays. I love all their music. And I'm just very, very happy and very proud of them. Daisy, another S Club yeah, Junior she's girl. she's in From Above. Yeah, she's in a new girl band called From Above, yeah, managed they, by Beyonce's yeah, dad, which is... that's crazy. Yeah. But they've been, you know, they've been um, working on that for absolute years. And, you know, Daisy's worked really hard. Building so I'm really up. happy that, you know, it's all paid off. And, and you yeah, know, I wish them all the best. Like, they're cool. really good. <laughs> and do you all speak to everyone still? Yeah. Everyone still speak yeah, to each other? Yeah, everyone. We got the chance to all reunite for Aaron's birthday oh, wow. um, last year and it was I think I saw a picture online of all of you standing yeah, yeah. and it was just so weird like all being together all grown up like all the parents were there and it was just such a nice night because we were all together like it was it was it's rare that we're all available yeah. to like see each other um, but yes yeah, so we all keep in touch speak to each other every now and again cool. would you ever uh, be part of a reunion, like an S Club I think reunion. they should do like a one-off. Like we should get this. We should make this happen. I love it. <laughs> you know what? People out there would absolutely I love it. I think that we should do like just a one-off gig. Like I think it'd be awesome. Yeah. De definitely be awesome. Because you had some good tunes. <laughs> yeah, we did. And you still do now. I mean, I, we play them on the channel. We love your yeah. tunes. So yeah, make that happen. Somebody, please do yeah, it. Do it. <laughs> um, so what are you up to now? What are you? Um, doing? Well, last year, the back end of last year, I did yeah. a, a show called G Mania, which was basically like a a musical based on Glee, cool. the American show. Wow. Um, and we toured UK theatres, and that was that was a lot of fun. And then I kind of took a little break from everything, yeah. and it's kind of like my New Year's resolution to, you know 
broaden my horizons and try new things like TV stuff and still singing you definitely. Yeah, get into singing. I just, yeah. Would you become a part of a band maybe or would you like to be like a solo artist? Yeah, I think yeah. I'd be up for like a girl group. Yeah. If it was right, then I'd definitely definitely be in a girl group. I can imagine you in a girl yeah. group. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine you singing. Can I become part of that? Yeah, girl? you can you can be no, in the I band. can sing but I'm a dance with you. Well, thank you so much for popping by oh, Stacey. It's, it's been pleasure. great to talk to you and look through your career in S Club Juniors. Yeah.